damn looking at the map like there's so many places to go mm -hmm. what do you think we should do today for adventure well i think we're going to go with the lodge's namesake we're going to go up skokie mountain today which is right behind the lodge and we'll work our way through the trees for a little bit until we get onto a bit of a ridge line and then from the ridge line we'll work our way up a little bit and see if we can find some turns up there okay sounds good sounds great It's not that I don't like the hiking, but isn't the skiing down the reason you go up? I was ready for a little of that. There are too many routes to explore in the short time we were here, so we left the long valleys for the next trip and chose a steeper route behind the lodge through the trees. Once we reached the Alpine, we happily broke trail through fresh snow in anticipation of a few turns. Around the lodge itself, there's such a variety of peaks and valleys that, that go out from, you know, almost like a spiral around here. And the uh, the terrain is great for touring, great for adventuring, especially in the winter time. You know, there's a lot of cross-country trails, and you can also find some great turns around here as well. Well, I'm fortunate enough to bring folks to come in here on a semi-regular basis, especially in the wintertime. You know, just the surroundings in here, the environment, and the peace being in the middle of these mountains is so incredible because you're pretty much away from everything. There is no television, there is no Wi-Fi, there's nothing back here, there's not even electricity. The lights, you spend your evenings under the beautiful glow of lanterns and candles, and it's such a wonderful setting that just helps you put your peace of mind.